Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm T4 and today we are working on building a river gate. If you check uh, just over here somewhere, uh, you can see that I need to continue my wall across the river and it may as well make it like a proper entry gate into my village. So let's get into it. Now, I promise you, I don't just like face cam. I do these videos while I'm streaming. So if you ever want to swing by and help me with design or building ideas, check out the description. You'll find my Twitch link there. Also, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Helps the channel out ever so much more than you know, and it lets me know that you are at least liking the builds that I'm doing. Now, one of the first things I did was I put in a boat so that I knew how tall my gate was supposed to be. If, if you want to do a river gate, you got to make sure your boats can actually fit through it. Something else I did was I used iron posts. Now, this is the first time I had used iron for this. Uh, I don't normally build such large builds, so this build was definitely a learning experience for me. And here we can see I'm just getting the boat kind of centered up on the river so that I know where to actually put my gate. Always a good thing to know. And you'll also notice that several times throughout this video I'm using uh, building pieces basically as temporary scaffolding so that I can actually get an angle on the build so that I can put pieces in where I want. A little bit of trouble with my green screen there no big deal I really do appreciate the new snapping points and when you press E it changes where the building piece is trying to snap to. It has made building so much easier in this game. I just, I gotta point out the things that I appreciate, you know? And I decided to double up the wall here. I was originally thinking I might try to follow the portcullis design I used on the gates in the upper fortress, but you'll see later on in the video what I ended up deciding to do. And as a reminder, yes, I am in hammer mode, but this is my survivor world. If you want to see that, um, that playthrough, I guess, uh, it is on my channel. If I remember, I'll throw, uh, the link in the description. It'll also be linked at the end of this video. I fell off of this platform so many times, oh my god.
as we can see here i'm just trying to figure out exactly how to get the iron beams to work like i said this is my first time really using them for a structure like this and i was having a little bit of trouble getting the stone supported so that it wouldn't just break And you can see I'm just waiting, letting the color pick down so that I know if it's going to break on me or not. It was a rather tedious build if I'm not if I'm being honest. what you'll see here is I'm actually trying to find the center or what I want to be the center so that when I start working on the other side here I can make a symmetrical gate and on this side what I actually decided to do was uh, do the iron frame first so that it would be a little bit easier to line up exactly how I was gonna do the stone for this side Again, looking for that center. Now, if you have any suggestions or recommendations on how to work with the iron beams better or stone any better, feel free to leave them in the comments or swing by Twitch uh, Monday, <laughs> Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and uh, I'm more than happy to take pointers. Now I promise you I did make an attempt to line these up, but as you'll see in a few minutes, I end up having to tear the stone down and redo it because I didn't line up the levels of stone quite as nicely as I thought I did. And there's my moment of pain. Mind you, once I got it, it, it went pretty easily. And 
and as you can see chat popping up in the corner there giving me little tips and helpful design tricks and I normally talk through my designing while I'm streaming. It's just, I, I'm a verbal thinker. It makes it a lot easier. And then here I'm actually checking, double checking, that I got the stone in the right level, which I did, thankfully, the second time around. And again, just trying to do my best to make sure I've lined up on the center properly and make sure I've got the right look I'm going for over the gate here with the stones. Now you're going to notice across the top that that half lap running bond actually worked out the whole way across. If I'm being completely honest, that was a bit of a fluke and I just ran with it. Uh, so count your stars when they show up, am I right? And here I'm just having a conversation with chat trying to figure out if I like the way the gate looks if I want to change up the balance of it at all and we were actually discussing screenshots for the thumbnail so hopefully I picked right let me know in the comments if you think I picked the right thumbnail or not Now, of course, this build is far too large for a single, single video, especially since I stream while I'm building. 
So don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you can catch the rest of the build. Now, for the most part, the rest of this video is going to be me trying to figure out how I want to best frame this gate for the sake of a thumbnail. I eventually put some doors on as well. But as I'm sure you've noticed, there's uh, there's quite a bit of groundwork that's gone on and there's quite a bit of building that's gone on outside of this video. So again, if you feel like being a part of the thought process or even just hanging out, um, don't forget to check out that Twitch link so that you can come and catch Twitch sometime. Or if you think you'd rather watch me live stream on YouTube, let me know in the comments and let me know. Now basically all I'm going for with the actual gate here is I wanted something that looked like it would close and protect the, the riverway if we needed to do that for whatever reason. Now unfortunately Valheim doesn't have the parts to actually hinge or close giant gates like this but I thought the aesthetic looked pretty good once we got the product done. And here I'm just using the iron bars because you need water to flow through your gate otherwise water will be the reason you lose your gate. And if you give me a second here you're gonna notice or I'm gonna notice that one gate is larger than the other and it gets fixed. There we go. And again with the scaffolding because reach. Well, thanks again for swinging by. I'm T4. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think about the content in the comments, and I'll see you next time.